So the Proteus ODI series against Pakistan came to an end last night where South Africa managed to pull off a seven-wicket victory at Newlands Stadium to claim a 3-2 series win. Now, the series victory will definitely boost the confidence of the team as we edge ever closer to the 2019 Cricket World Cup, but there are still some concerns hanging over the South African camp. And to chat about the Proteus series victory and the upcoming ICC Cricket World Cup, Proteus legends Sean Pollock and Paul Adams are in the house along with the Cricket World Cup trophy. Come on, give it up. Amazing to have both of you gentlemen here. Thanks for joining us. Good to be here. Uh, especially after your, your little <laughs> romantic getaway this morning, Paul, you were telling us you're you, you having a muffin and a coffee by the beach here, which is nice. But we, we're here to talk cricket. And uh, I think uh, as South African cricket fans, most of us are very impressed with what the boys were able to pull off against Pakistan in the ODI um, series and the test series as well. We're moving on to the shorter format of the game. But let's get your viewpoints on what you've thought so far. Yeah, it was impressive. The last game was important. I think uh, going into a World Cup year, you want to sort of pressure game to deal with and with it being the final um, you know yesterday was really important that they got over the line and I thought their performance was pretty polished a little bit surprised by the side they went with but um, they obviously made the right decisions and um, I think they'll be pretty happy about winning that series still quite a bit of cricket to be played before that World Cup but uh, there does seem to be a few positions up for grabs and yeah. um, People are vying for positions. Yeah, and we'll certainly get into that very shortly. But who, would have, who have been some of your standout players that you've really been impressed with so far? Yeah, I think it's important that we see Quinton de Kock at the top. Um, and that role that he played last uh, yesterday was so important, especially mm -hmm. on a slow, slowish pitch at Newlands. Um, his explosiveness is, is a complete match winner. So he's, he's someone that impressed. And obviously, guys like KG Rabada, um, he's, uh, he's going to be electrifying for South Africa at the World Cup. Yeah. Now, of course, you talk about new names and there's been the introduction of some new players that have really impressed on the on a massive world stage. Um, who would you like to see given a chance to, to crack it into the team, especially ahead of the World Cup? Whoever's so. going to win it for us. <laughs> 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 no, I think Ratsy Van der Dissen's been impressive. I think yeah. uh, you can't look much further than that. So if you had to say, what's your World Cup squad? I probably would have given you 15 names about two months ago. He wouldn't have been in it. Yeah. And now he's been given that opportunity. I think he's averaging over 120 in the one-day format now, and there's still games to come. So he's really put his hand up. Um, but then your, your stalwarts, it would be nice also to get people like JP Dumney back in the mix. Uh, I think we've missed his contribution in the middle, of, not only with bat and ball. Mm -hmm. um, I think that they're still trialling a few things. Uh, you know, from me as, a, as a quite a structured individual, I'd probably like to know what the 15 is now. But they seem to be happy just to give guys the opportunity and see who can maybe come to the four. And, and maybe that's the formula. You know, yeah. We've tried other formulas for four World Cups that I went to didn't work for us. It hasn't worked quite so, yet. So maybe this is the way to go. <laughs> Hopefully this time round. And we've been seeing international cricket action all round um, in all formats of the game. Um, where do you think the Proteus chances lie right now? What do we need to fix? What do we need to work on to ensure that we do just take that extra step and perhaps get over the line and bring this trophy back home where yeah. I believe it belongs? Yeah, that's vitally important, that trophy. Um, I think they just need to settle into what their best combination is. Uh, it's always nice when you eventually have that decision made of, OK, these are the 15 that are going to the World Cup. This is how we're looking to play. Um, and they've played a brand of cricket over the last year or two where they're trying to be aggressive, trying to put the pressure on the opposition, and then also picking bowlers who can take wickets. So I think in England that's going to be key. You know, your conditions can change you know, in the space of a couple of hours. The, mm -hmm. the cloud comes over, the ball starts to swing things can be very different. I think it's going to be adaptability to what you, you face. And it's a long tournament too, so I don't think we need to peak early. We've done that a few times in tournaments as well. So <laughs> don't <remind> just <laughs> ease your way in, and then yeah. when it comes to the knockout stages, make sure you're ready to go. Yeah, yeah I think a, a key thing is your top three batsmen. Mm -hmm. If any of those top three batsmen hit good form, it's, it really sets the foundation when it comes to runs, um, and that will put the pressure on any opposition. Yeah. And I think that old adage always will apply, catches win matches. I'll never get over that day, man. But uh, let's talk about the trophy. You guys are very busy. You've got the beautiful ICC Cricket World Cup uh, trophy on tour right now. Where are you going to be going around with it? And what's going to be happening during those activations when fans can come around and see it? Yeah, I think it's a great activation from this. And obviously, you don't get to see the World Cup trophy or even get to have a picture with it um, all that often. So it's going around to some heritage sites here in Cape Town to start and then up to Joburg and around the country. And it's a nice opportunity for the fans just to come out and see the trophy that will be coming back to, to South Africa in <laughs> July. You know, just to have a, a, a photo, then you've already got it on your wall by the time the, the victory happens. <laughs> <laughs> and you gentlemen will be there as well accompanying it so we can take pictures of you too? Yeah, mostly there'll be someone there who can uh, have a picture with you Excellent. and uh, so Excellent. make the moment a bit more memorable.
Yeah, bring around your own set of gloves if you hope to touch it. I see it's been carried <laughs> on with white gloves. But thank you very much for joining us uh, this morning. Really do appreciate and wishing all of our boys, uh, of course, in the cricket fraternity, all of the best uh, with the World Cup that's coming up. Yes, do bring this trophy back. Stick around to your feel-good breakfast. There's still lots more to come.